But now we're on this, so start the shit off. We already played that one like fucking eight times already. I'm just all right. We got that and this. Where the hell this might be? All right, this ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. I can actually set this up fairly easily. That puts the link in some other place. Alright, so let's see here. It's slaughter fest and what X weapons? X weapons is kind of not a bad weapon mod, I think, that I had. I don't know. I haven't touched it at all. Get rid of the old shit, basically. Alright, let's see here. Map slaughter fest. Where the fuck is slaughter fest? Right, there it is. Got that one, and then. All the extra shit on it. Alright, it's loading up now. Oh, hey, Nezo. Actually, I should probably get it. Alright. Just loading up mods. By the way, Nezo, I am in the, in the Discord chat. Maybe I'm better to do. I just gotta, like, set up a few things, though. Make sure this shit's showing. That's always go in the front. Always fucking in that. There we go. All good. Adjust the audio a little bit. So Get the lot of hit scan. A lot more than my liking. Don't my liking for much. Guess it just comes down to don't stop moving. That's literally how like this type of shit goes down. Like it's just a literally don't fucking stop moving thing. Not easy. I gotta like run over here real quick. Shit. All right, and fighting's occurring. Got myself a assault rifle, sorts. Yeah, this weapon mod ain't too bad, by the way. Alright, that was my own fucking fault. <laughs> Fuck you, shotguns. And fighting is fucking fantastic in this game. I kill these like fat fucks because they're like annoying. They're really fucking annoying if I let them live because I mean like if one of them sneaks up on me I basically die. That's pretty much what happens with these fucking enemies. It's can well I just gotta not be within 500 feet of one of them. More or less. Fucking Revenant missiles. Like, I'm just out of the loop a little bit here. I 
I am playing this on a higher difficulty though, so it's understandable if I'm fucking up on some bits. I mean, I'm not making it easy on myself here. Ignore those for now. Pinkies. Oh, yeah, I got a pistol for once, I guess. Not too bad. Alright, get. I need like a. Oh, yeah, it's the fucking TTR button for fucking reloads. Fucking hit scan. I hate it. Like, hit scan is just ass. Like, it's fucking, like, really fucking annoying, pretty much. Like, because it's basically aimbot. It might as well be considered an aimbot. Like, no doubt about it. Look at the Revenant, I can at least just, like, do this and just circle around them. They don't fucking die. Hit scan, honor something. Is that why I'm missing? No. Just them being wonky. Okay, yeah, it's just them being wonky if I'm missing like that. I have just little secret bits everywhere. Just skim through that shit. I'm gonna say this, so far this is going better than my previous attempt of doing like a whole round of this shit. Cause um the previous attempt was complete was like bullshit was pure bullshit pretty much. Like first things first, um the weapon pack would not work. One of them. Um Fractal was just completely fucking annoying to do in general, because well let's just say pinkies just do so do a lot of damage even though they have shoddy hitboxes and if they duplicate into smaller ones it just gets out of hand after a certain point and you just die instantly regardless need more ammo This gun ain't too, ain't too bad. Probably should hold roll into it though and not abuse the fuck out of it. Alright, that's not just that's not doing enough. Alright, so this has recoil damage. Alright. Ain't good to know, but hey. Better to learn it now than ever. Bullshit.
They don't we carry so many phase clusters for some reason now? That's as much as I can do. Better get in fights, that's good. Need to be getting fights, otherwise they're just gonna fucking annoy me. No. Just no. Was this fantastic contraption? Apparently, this thing fucking rapes, so I'm just gonna use it. I mean, oh no, fucking arch file. Fucking hate arch files. Like, of all fucking things to basically fight, Arch Files are basically literally the worst thing you can, like, deal with, because they're just assholes. Nope. Alright, I'm basically just fucked here. At least this gun's fucking fantastic, though. But there is a few problems here. I do need some health, and I think there's only like a little bit around here that I can use. Alright, that's right, there's still... One of these. Oh, I forgot these guys are in here too. Yeah, I literally forget that they exist for much. Probably not supposed to jump, but I don't give a shit. Where's that over cack? I hear something down there, but I can't really aim at it though, unfortunately. I'm gonna kill these cackos instead. Fucking cacos. I 
I should really be using my shotgun shells, actually. Mainly because I need to use up ammo anyway. There's all my shit loaded because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need probably this hey, thing. Man. Okay. Fuck that for much. No, Fucking revenants. Fucking revenants. I hate them. Like, I'm fine with them in normal small numbers. But when you include uh, eight cluster fucking them surrounding me, I can't avoid it. Uh, what are remnants? The, the, the Mr. Bones that fires rockets at you. Oh. Yeah, those aren't fun. And those <laughs> things home in on you, and if they're surrounding you, you basically die. Saw that firsthand. <laughs> Looked wonderful. <laughs> yep. Wow, I don't remember. I didn't remember Doom was actually 3D. Oh, old Doom? Hell yeah, it was. It was that. It was actually baffling because of it, pretty much. Like no one expected it to be like this initially. Well, right. no, it's that you're actually looking. You can look up in this version. And the oh, it's, it's GZ. Good. It's GZ. It lets me like it's like an ex engine upgrade of it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Makes it 3D in that case. No, it, all Doom was 3D. It just was kind of um, ass 3D. It was, it was pseudo 3D. It had yeah. the looks of 3D, but really it was actually a 2D platform. Mm-hmm. In all, so, in all Doom, you can't jump. I can jump. Yeah. <laughs> Break some of the levels, but hey, I don't care. <laughs> Can't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> I'll live a modded life if I want to. <laughs> well, this is literally modded life. And what, what the fuck is this? It's the Giga fucking gun. You'll be able to see it momentarily. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It fires 40 projectiles. <laughs> <laughs> I am holding on to that. Oh god, <laughs> now I see it. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Oh god. But apparently it's so important <laughs> to the point- It's important enough to the point where it literally gives me it as a BFG, like, slot item. So... It's gotta uphold the bullshit factor, basically. <laughs> Jesus. I also love this. This is basically like a mini rocket launcher in terms of splash. It's like this, um... I forget what it's called. A phase gun? Whatever it is. Oh, the phase gun? Is it like that uh, plasma gun thing? The red thing that shoots like... A, a, it's like a shotgun of it, basically, instead of... No, it's like a power shot of it, instead of just being rapid fire. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. Okay. But everyone consider... Alright. I hate orange vials, so I'm not going... That way? Oh wait, there's archviolets either way if I go. Fuck. Yeah, this map I'm using is called Slaughterfest 2012, and it's basically a, cl a collage of maps that are literally designed to be slaughter maps. And the term wow. for slaughter maps is basically shit ton of monsters, shit ton of items. Basically designed to basically be like, it doesn't matter how much items it gives you, you're probably gonna have to fake figure out how, like how to bullshit your way out, basically. So, moral of the story, just mod the hell out of it. Oh, it's really, they're really fun it. with like hot mod weapons and shit. Yeah. Cause you don't want the mundane, like, crap weapons holding you back, you have all this insane shit to use. Right. People make amazing weapon mods for this though. And maps as well. Yeah. Was Doom technically the mod- like, first moddable game? I think so. I mean, there's shit dating back to the early 2000s, dude. Yeah, like, that makes sense. Unless Mario was actually- I mean, yeah, they've been modding. Yeah, I but mean, it, it, it's more or less than making bootlegs in their games, like, literally. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh. they literally made, like- It's like, half the time it's not even Mario, it's just them ripping off another game and calling it Mario. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
not even mods. It's for Mario. It's like literally just like mods of Mario into other games. <laughs> uh, I believe it's called uh file ripping or something. It's I guess the proper term would also be bootlegging. Bootlegging, yeah, that's true. That's it. But modding, it, like it's not quite homebrew people. or modding. But it's also still something, basically. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I think Doom was the first like uh, modded PC game. I'm pretty it was sure. Mainly because it was fucking shareware at the time. Shareware. Basically, people can get like a demo of it, of, like the first like series of levels or something. Uh. And you just buy the stuff. And then they game. just like send like 20 bucks to them or something and they basically give it to you. It's I one see. of those. It was basically the shitty way of doing demos, basically. <laughs> uh. Alright, I'm done with this location. Got BFG cells. I don't know what these do. I guess they're just for this fucking big ass laser thing. Does this have an alt fire? No? Oh well. Disappointing. Jeez, for its it time though, it looks pretty nice. Oh no, it's also because the fact that um, it's the engine upgrade kind of fine-tuned a few things too. Yeah, but even so, like, even if these are like... Yeah, it definitely improved, it, it definitely made it a lot nicer and less, like, pixely. Yeah. That's what the that's the engine upgrade. You know, less. personally, if it if this was like, if th something like this was released now, I think it'd be booming, still. Oh hell, it's it's booming now anyway. People but still love community. this shit. Wow. I mean, like literally, like the Doom Three like BFG edition literally gives you one, two, two. Hmm. Oh, I even looked on Steam and I saw like a whole bunch of Doom games. Have you tried those ones? Um, uh, which ones? Oh, like a lot of them. Just anything that isn't Doom 1, 2, uh, 1, 2. Are you talking about the the off-brand one, which is, um, uh, Ultimate Doom? Or Final Doom? Yeah, those things. You know that was a, a two half-assed half -assed projects, right? <laughs> well, I didn't know that. The first half of the levels is one project, and the second half of the levels are another project. Uh, one, was, one was supposed to be TNT Evolution, and everyone's Flutonia. A lot of people like Flutonia, though. But they're they're basically the, I guess, um, they're probably the earliest forms of bullshit high difficulty maps for that game. Because they were literally designed to literally kill the person. Oh, wow. In terms of difficulty, like just crippling, soul-crushing difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the reason why there's not many, there's like no world records for doing um, nightmare mode. Like there's very little world records for it. At all, if for, any. For ultimate doom? Or for final, whatever it's called. I think ultimate is on um, expansion 2 though. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's ultimate doom. I used and... to play doom 64 and I love that fucking thing. That was also, that was another off-brand one, but that one was a good off-brand. In terms of like, just... they made it their own. Oh. <laughs> so Doom 64, that's just the 64 version of it. The 64 version, people have even made it like an engine upgrade for that, if you could somehow rip it. Yeah, it was made for Nintendo 64. I mean... But it was so good though. It was, it was, if, like... <laughs> The, the company did it right, basically. Like, they... Like, they reinvented it, basically. In, in a good way. Hell yeah. I mean, they've been doing good games. Like, I'm looking at what they did. Well, 64 wasn't Hector. made by ID. It was, um... It was one... I think it was right in the time when it was weird. It, like, had this weird thing going on with it, where, like, I guess not... It wasn't always on, in their, like, possession or something. It wasn't in their possession? No, I think it was like it wasn't in their possession for like a brief period of time or something, and I guess that's what it. Oh, and then they switched out like 
And it just okay. jumbled. It got juggled, I think. Oh, it's weird. One of those weird things. Hey, man. Hey, I'm going to I hate tech. Twitch, so I can... It's in the live stream yeah. thing. Oh, okay. He's doing good right now. Oh yeah, I, I'm, I've gotten used to fucking playing the crap out of this game to a point where I can just play Slaughter Maps fairly well, even with Bella. You know what? I have a Twitch account. I've just never done anything with it. So Fair enough. Well, yeah, I know. We all have those things. Like for Most example, of them are for spectating purposes or chatting. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to do like live streaming content. I just, I just do it because I have nothing better to do and I, like, I don't well, care if someone's watching it, basically, so it's pretty much, if they want to watch it, go ahead. Anyway, yeah. Kind of logic. Yeah, well, the thing is, I might want to start doing Twitch streams instead of YouTube streams. So, I think well, YouTube is, is kind of, better. YouTube's always been ruining, like, streaming in their own way, which has been really generous with it. Yeah, Twitch is way better uh, for streaming. It was made for it. So I suggest that was our original focus, actually. Yeah. So I see. I see. Originally, be called. It used to be called Justin TV, I think. As I said, I want to learn how to use Twitch. Uh, and it's so not. Start it's almost similar to like any other streaming service. You just use like a link or like a special link thing, and you hook that to your OBS or whatever you're using. Yeah, it's really simple. Expect. I, I the only thing you need to learn, that. the only thing you need to learn is how to balance out buffering and delaying early in processing and stuff. Yeah, even that's not hard. You just find one good setting and that's it. Oh, yeah, it's there's once you find a sweet spot for it, you can set it up all, every fucking time basically. It works with any, it'll work oh, with yeah. any fucking thing. You can, you can save your save, right? Of course. Yeah. I hate pain elementals because they're like flaming skulls or. Probably obnoxious as shit because they just get they just turn into a clusterfuck scenario. Oh, no. this is doing, huh? uh, yeah, it's a uh, he modded it quite a bit. It's called I'm doing I do something called Wheel of Doom where I I have like a wheel, wheel to side thing for maps and gameplay mods and I just rolled at both of them. I try not to use re like frequently used ones or something. Like I'll just re-roll if it lands oh. on one of those. It looks like a remake because I know that. Uh, well, this is a. This uses GZ, and GZ is basically a um, engine upgrade. Okay, I was gonna say the original Doom it cleans it up a lot. Basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I was gonna say the this resolution doesn't exist on the original Doom. Yeah, it's all thanks to engine upgrades. Would you believe it? I know when Doom came out, I remember the day it came out, and somebody <laughs> gave me a copy. That's awesome, actually. Right, this energy rifle isn't doing too good. I'm just gonna use the energy cannon. It was actually, I don't know what his position was, but he was a representative of, of the Doom game, and uh, he gave me a free copy. That's pretty cool, actually. I mean, I I think I played Doom, like, kind of. I literally played, um, I used to have, um, TNT Evolution and Flutonio on my phone. I used to do those ones. <laughs> uh, I like, I, had, like, the problem was, though, like, doing it on a phone is, like, next to impossible, because, like, there are some points where you're supposed to do, like, one of those, like, run glides to get into the other point of the like, map or something. You know, where you oh, run so far, where you try, because you can't jump and shit, so you basically have to like sl somehow slide your way into that platform or something. Oh, well, guess what? I'm, uh, I'm looking at the original copy you gave me right now. Nice. Can you still play them? Uh, no, they're on, uh, three and a quarter inch discs. So, magnets, you uh, deteriorate over time. Yeah, that's uh, always the problem with floppies. Uh, well, at least... Looks like four discs? I think the original came out on three discs. I might have had a bonus disc or something. 
Can you remember? If I die, that game? if I die one more time with this, I'm probably just gonna switch re-roll. I don't like this stick too long on one of these unless I'm too, on like a good roll with it. I actually remember playing this and uh, Wolfenstein 3D. Oh. Uh, and uh, you know the original Wolfenstein. 3D. Wolfenstein's progressed a lot, like in terms of like game quality. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's their bread and butter right now on the new Doom. And you're gonna hate me, but uh, I, I remember these games being the reason I don't like first person shooters. Oh. Like they're too fast paced or are they they just like too violent? No, I, I like a third party view. Third party view? He, he doesn't he doesn't like first the perspective it uses. Oh, okay. Yeah, that I have a friend that's like that too. Like they don't like a certain first person perspective. And I'm not all about shooting them up either. I, I like uh, games that challenge your mind. Oh, puzzle games and such. Well, there's kind of something similar. There is a little bit of fought into it with um, Doom, but it's only when you're playing slaughter maps. Yeah, or if you're playing competitively. Oh yeah, they had that. Someone actually made yeah, Deathmatch. Let's just say I'm not into the shoot 'em up stuff. Yeah, that's understandable. Uh, yeah, not not everybody is. Personally, my favorite is survival horror, which actually you have to think about like weigh your options per I much. I do like survival. I do like survival horror when it includes puzzles and things like. Resident well, it, it's kind of a prerequisite for it. Yeah, I mean, Fatal Frame is pretty much a. I played Fatal Frame. Uh, I played Dino Crisis, Resi the old Resident Evils. Um, Oh, yeah, I remember Dino Crisis. I like that game. In fact, I still have the original. I don't remember <laughs> what happened to my copy of it. I think I rented it. I don't know. Uh, like when renting was a thing. <laughs> nowadays, you can just borrow somebody's original copy, put it in a, a homemade reader, and then dump the ROM into a file. <laughs> and they don't fucking know. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> actually, yeah. I, I've actually built myself a reader for uh, SNES discs. Wow. Um, I took an old SNES that didn't work and pulled the uh, slot out of that that you uh, plugged the uh, disc, the cartridge into, and I used that so that I could plug the cartridge into the reader. I'm gonna up the volume on you a little bit. Thank you. I barely hear you. Oh, but it's mainly because I have you set to oh. the low. That's all. I just don't okay. have I just don't have you high enough right now, mine, that's all. What about you, Chuck? Can you hear me alright? Oh yeah, I can hear you all. Just Yeah, mine mine was I just, just set to, I had my setting low on you for it. That's all. Yeah. Gotcha. Does my voice you. sound any better than the last time I talked to you? Yeah, it's alright. Well, I, any I mean, in terms of like your usage with the voice modulator thing, where we're using. Oh no, it's it's very much understandable. I'll check on the stream though. No, it's just I have you guys like in your on your guys' end. It's probably gonna like hear like only a quarter of what you guys are actually like in volume on my end because oh, I have automatic setup. I have it set up to be like 30, 25 30 percent of the um, audio besides my mic, basically. Right. Yeah, I, I understand that. Mainly because, um, my commentary needs, like, if I'm streaming, I gotta have my commentary not get drowned out by anything. And most of the time, it's just gonna be the game that drowns it out, not the people talking with me. Gotcha. How do they get all this stuff on their screens, other Twitch users? Oh, you mean, like, their webcams, all that stuff? Yeah, all that it's, stuff. There's, like, this is... There's basically this thing called a scene, and it's basically like a, the whole screen itself that's going to display, and it's every entity is like a part of is something that can go on that scene, basically. <clears throat> I got you. So it's set up the scenes. It's like having project. It's like putting multiple windows in one location, basically. Yeah, I, I know what I know what that is. I'm just saying. Uh, so it's like it has scenes, which means you can overlay those scenes on your uh -huh. video. Like. Yeah. Right now, the wheel decide is overlaid on the, from this game, and so that way if I load up the game, it doesn't intrude, but I don't have to cl make it invisible or anything. That's... Gotcha. 
All right, now I gotta do this. Yeah, I mean, thing. you already answered the question. I was just letting you know. So you just know. elaborating on it a little bit. I don't mind doing that. By the way, Tech, you're perfectly fine on the stream. Oh, good. Also, in terms of like one for a volume, that is. Yeah, no, you're. Excellent. It's understandable. Don't worry. Go on, Excellent. Cyber Demon. Kill the revenants for me. But you don't get the point. Or do you? Hmm? Doesn't it issue points for every kill? Not really. Basically, they just, they just have to die in Doom. That's all. Counts how many people are actually dead. Basically. Oh, it's the number of uh, kills. I got you. Yeah. I'm just using my well, double barrel. in that case, you won't get the point for the kill. Or do you, if something else kills it? Well, the, well, Doom, when it comes to Doom, one of the points of the game is basically infighting. Which means you try to make one creature attack another creature, so he gets pissed off at that creature. So you pretty much save yourself some trouble because they're distracted killing each other. Basically. Oh, okay. It's but you don't get the point for those kills? You do. It just, it's more or less, um, indirect killing, pretty much. Gotcha. Ooh, that's another thing I don't like about this game. All the pentagrams. Well, that's kind of the whole gimmick. You're fighting hell, basically. Yeah. It's just, it, it's kind of just like, it, it's it's just a theme thing, pretty much. Makes a little metal, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> uh, that's funny, because I, I just did a stream yesterday talking about, uh... I really, hate, I really hate PewDiePie. Yeah, he still has a large following. Mm. Oh, what do you expect? I was talking yesterday in my streams. Yeah, I did a two-parter. Uh, First of all, about donating to me and my cause. <laughs> but uh, mostly it was about uh, uh, three the points. modern des destruction of the English language. Well, there's two forms of that. There's the kind where it's basically um, pretty much the, us the usage of words, which basically, I guess, would be slang. Yeah. However, they used to look at it as uh, either a child's thing or an uneducated person's thing. Nowadays, yeah. it's welcome. It's a culture thing, really. It's not really um, actually something involving intelligence or something. It's more or less a, just a person using, following a culture, pretty much. Well, it's what it's turned into that's horrifying. Well, that's what culture does. Yeah. Human beings have an uncanny knack of destroying everything they touch. <laughs> I guess this time, this time it's the English language. Everything we has the ability to create. Everything has the ability yeah. to do the opposite as well. And they call, it, and and I've gotten the argument so many times that it's uh, evolution of language. And I say what you call evolution, I call de evolution. Alright, I gotta kill, kill this archfile quick and fast, because he's just gonna fucking hit me with his cheap hitbox. In other words, what I'm saying is, um, archviles are... ...very broken in older ver- in, like, old Doom, basically. Oh, okay. Um, fun fact. They only hit you at the end of their animation. And if they do hit you, you lose half- you lose about 80 health, basically. Like, there wasn't very much balance involving them very much. So if you find them, you might die. No, if you don't have cover, you die, basically. Is there any way to stop this? Every time I log into Twitch, which is not very often, I have a mass amount of notifications, and they're all from Twitch. Uh, I don't really pay attention to them at all. Yeah, I just kind of click out of them. 
In my case, I just don't I'm care just about them. I was just wondering if there was a, a, a way to stop that. Probably. Probably something you can do. Uh, Probably have to get all the settings up. I just didn't know if anybody here knew offhand or not. No, it's good okay, to for ask. the portal. That never ends. At least I saved up all my BFG charges. Yeah, but the, the, sla the Slaughterfest 2012 maps are always nice. Like, they, the people that made them put a lot of thought into them. I'm just like the careful setting up of them pretty much. You know, with my knowledge, I could probably, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can uh, be a modder for this game. Probably good. I mean, it's probably easier to do because you don't need much graphic design skills, really. You know how to do pixel art. I know. And you being able to do it, no, no offense to you, by the way, you being able to do it means I definitely could. Because you're not that up on digital technologies. Yes. But I definitely know a thing or two about computer graphics at least, in terms of like the art form oh, of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm talking about the overall the overall aspect of it was probably make it very easy to learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't be able to do the graphic design, I'd give that to you. Mm -hmm. Since I'm not the artsy type, I'm like 50 50 basically in my case. Like, it's like I, I'm kind of artsy, but at the same time, I'm also kind of technical in my stuff too. Uh, as a matter of fact, do you want to practice your art with a course without getting paid? I don't really do commission work, if anything. Well, it wouldn't be commissioned. Well, it, it, the, it uh, the commission uh, work is anything that basically... Bono. Well, in terms of like com what commission basically means, it's like you're either paid or not paid to basically do something that, uh, that someone's asking you to do specifically in parameters. Yeah. So but you would be able to take your time with it, too. Well, it's up to you. I mean, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm, not gonna I'm just not... It. I'm not interested in that point. I'm not, like, the type that likes to do All those right. kind of things. Alright, that's fine. I, I won't push it. It's mainly because my level... My source of inspiration can be fickle at times, and I can end up just doing nothing. I hear you. They're just everywhere. Like, <laughs> I have to, like, find a way, like, to move around without getting killed. I wanna, uh... Do you know of any RT people that would, like, do something pro bono? Not that I know of. Um... Most of mine would probably be asking for money or something. Right. Not everyone's okay. generous, is what I'm saying. I know, I know. And that's fine. You know, it, it, it's an asking, it's not a requirement. Uh -huh. Now look, I'm gonna put a gun to their head and say, you do this for me or else. That's what we call fascism. <laughs> I call that a brutal attack. Well, fas and the reason I'm saying it's fascism is because that's basically what they fucking do to get someone to do something for them. Crazy people. Since I don't like to keep up on politics, I don't care about those labels and those groups. Everybody within every label, within every group, has their radicals, and that's all I see. Okay, everybody's making this is pretty like bombard me with their rockets.
I've gotten pretty far on this because this map, I like, regardless of what weapon I use, this map tends to get ridiculous with them. Ridiculous. Oh no. Why did I even bother to open that door? I knew what was behind it. I don't want him to fucking go near it. In case you're wondering, Nez, I just opened a door with 500 imps in it. Oh god. <laughs> Through that cage? Yeah, um, there were some non colliding walls in, um, Old Doom, basically. Like, you can't go through them, but projectiles can, kind of. It's like semi non colliding. And, and you open another door that had a bunch behind it. <laughs> That's what slaughter maps do. You have to think oh, your way wow. up. You gotta think about it because, like, you can't brute force it. Yeah. Doesn't matter how good your guns are, you can't reinforce it. Kind of wish how wow. I kind of wish that's how like most first-person shooting ups went. Where you gotta be a bit tactical with I'll it. Tell you, oh, yeah. I'll tell you sure. what I would do. Switch to I would make a, a weapon that's very difficult to obtain and uh, make it kill with one hit. So be you'd be the type that would play Russian Overkill, basically. You would have to do something spectacular to get the gun. Well, that's what the that's the logic with the BFG really in most maps, custom maps. It's like you have to f go out of your way to find it, or just be in the later levels to basically get it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wasn't focusing on what you would have to do to get it. Just something spectacular or something difficult. But once you get it, you got you have one hit kills. That's how the BFG is, basically. It's like, it's meant to be absurdly strong, pretty much. Oh yeah, the BMG in uh, Doom 3. Especially when you fully um, charge it. Now, I don't mind Doom 3 because you can go third person. I still don't like the shoot em up stuff, though. Well, Doom 3 took a lot less of a turn in the shoot 'em up logic and more into like just surviving more or less. Because your guy's not this not this guy that struts well, 60 feet of an hour, base 60 miles an hour. Like, yeah, you, you have just, to obtain cards to open. Yeah, he's basically a normal person now. Like he's basically just a, you're basically just playing as a normal person instead of just some like souped up super soldier running 60 miles an hour and just like stomping heads like nothing. You guys yeah. actually like vulnerable to like most of the things. Like the only thing keeping them from dying is armor, and that's it. What's with the Vanguard? Vanguard is a map made by some guy, basically. Oh, okay. And so I you roll to pick a map. Mm-hmm. That's how I, I pick or a map. No, a map. I spin to pick a map and a weapon mod, which I have uh, like a few oh. dozen of each of each one, basically. Oh, okay. There's so what a, are we doing today here? It's Guncaster. Guncaster and Vanguard. Also, I need to turn on my air conditioner because my room heats up when I stream. And believe it or not, I'm sitting here sipping my hot Earl Grey streaming tea. Tennessee. Oh, dude. Take up Earl quite a Grey? bit of processing. I'm sitting here drinking my, my Chinese tea, man. Oh, I have a gallon I, of I green tea found... in my room. I haven't found anything that beats Earl Grey. Well, <laughs> I could tell you a couple. But they're kind of acquired taste. Like, I think jasmine tea. Jasmine tea is one good one. Uh, oh, yeah. I've tried jasmine tea. It's, it's not so good. All right. I bet Oolong uh, tea. Oolong? I have tried a lot of teas. All right. All right. Let me sum this up to you. This is going to be probably more of a power trip than anything. Fucking you have a mod. That is all I'm gonna say, because that's basically Guncaster in a nutshell. Mainly because it's maybe the same guy who made Russian Overkill. Also, I get magic. So, you know, you know if, if there's magic, it's gonna be bullshit. That's basically the logic of it. I like magic. Magic's fun. Cool thing is I get a shop in this one. Ooh, there. Get you. 
good. Yeah. Mainly the initial play because because of the fact that like pinkies are lethal up close pretty much, even though they have one of the weakest hitboxes in the game for attacking. Because yep. you can just move one inch away from them, they'll instantly miss on their um, flaws. Something else is getting A lot of bad guys. Yeah. Gotta be careful. There's a whole lot of them. Ouch. You know, the, as quick as you move in this, if you're not the player, it drives my eyeballs crazy. Oh, no shit. I'm not. Like, it's literally just. If you're an observer, it's like, whoa, what's going on? Well, my hand, my my like reactive time in terms of like perception, perception and hand eye coordination is pretty on point for this type of shit. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's uh, from a viewer's perspective. Yeah, from a viewer's <laughs> perspective, you look, you look like a god right now. <laughs> Again, that's why I said this is like a power trip mod, because you basically go fast as shit and like it, like a truck. I mean, you can still die. I mean, like, your character's not fucking immortal. It's not gonna. Well, yeah, you've proven that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Don't got enough gold for that. Let's see here. Always go. Yeah, I'm just gonna get myself a regeneration capsule. For safety reasons. Oh, so by I, the way, does the, uh, the, does the shot move with you? Oh, everything, everything I fire is basically knockback on it. So yeah. No, I mean you can bring up the shop at any time. Yeah. You don't have to visit a location. As long as I get enough gold, I can buy stuff via magic, like shop for whoever you want to consider it. Yeah. I mean, I only get gold if I kill, so. It's better for me to kill everything than avo avoid some things, basically. Absolutely. And also, the one thing that this uh, does resolve is like you, like just waiting at the shop, like waiting for things to come by and just shoot them. Oh, you like, were come saying on, by board. the way something. Oh yeah, by the way. Oh yeah, text. Uh, what Full do you? Clear. You say you live stream. Well, he's trying. To, he's trying to get into his Twitch live stream, yeah. please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What were you planning to live stream? I I I live stream a bunch of stuff. Just whatever suits my fancy at the time. Ah. I've been known to hold just random streams where I get people to come in and we talk about whatever. That's pretty cool, actually. But, yeah. So if you ever get that Twitch stream up and running, I'm. Oh, I'll, I'll watch you, man. Like, random content is good. Random sure. content is always okay. good. I was That's hoping somebody could just get me started so I uh, don't have to go through and try and figure everything out first. Rick is to spread it, it's spread it like, um, the, the concept of your stream to your friends. That's yeah. what I started with. Well, the thing is, I can, I, I can figure everything out. I'm talking about the technical details. Oh, I can oh, everything out. It's just it would be a lot quicker if somebody. I can recommend one thing. You should probably always stream it in 720p because um, people don't have them don't have very good computers like for the most part. Yeah, okay. and also the if you go any higher resolution, uh, you're gonna like get a so, crazy buffer stream. So but. 720 high HD high definition. Okay, standard, HD. standard high definition. It's not full high definition. Yeah. Well, 720 is considered high def. Yeah, it's considered a standard a standard high def. Um, full high def is basically 1080. 1080. Yeah. I'm trying to kill this Macubus, but he won't go down. Personally, it's not actually it's not actually hard to host this stream. Like hell, I do it, and I'm like, what? I'm like 14. It's not, it's not hard, man. 
You sound like you're 17, oh, dude. You are a kiddo. Mm -hmm. I'm very much a kiddo. Uh, and I've I've hosted a stream before. It's it's really not hard as long as like. The hard part is getting people. Okay, yeah, that's hard. Oh. All you have to do is play around like OBS, and you'll understand it very quickly. And assuming like you, you got think? experience under your belt, I, you're gonna. It's gonna be pretty easy for you. Yeah, you'll skim right through it usually. And by the way, I uh, I do like to keep my streams uh, clean, so I I keep them PG or at least PG thirteen, but not beyond. Okay, yeah. yeah. Per personally, I don't mind. I mean, freaking, I watch South Park and stuff. I really don't mind if it's PG or not. Okay, anybody in my stream has to tone it down and not use vulgarity. Get out of the shop. <laughs> Get attacked by an imp. Alright. All right, let's see here. And most of them are willing to do that for me because they want to be in my stream. Yeah. I got a new spell. If that was the case for me, I would do that too. They do make mistakes and I just say, uh, don't don't I'd, demonetize uh, my my video. <laughs> I tend to curse a lot, but it's more or less I use it. It's just so hardwired to the point where I use it as a form of exaggeration. <laughs> well, I know, but the way it's being used right now, um, the expletives. First of all, YouTube is probably gonna die. That's what I'm saying. The expletives yeah. have lost their expletive nature. Ah. Uh. Mm. Well, I don't even use it explicitly anyway in the first place. Even when it was. But that's that's what those so-called words are for. They're meant to be used as expletives. Ah, crap. But since it's so common nowadays, uh, since it's so common, it, it, they've lost their original uh, uh, usage. What happens is they lose their touch, and then they get replaced, rinse and repeat. Well, those words have been around for so long, and they've been used as expl expletives so long. See, that's what I despise about what people are doing with the English language these days. They're just arbitrarily that's a changing. a tricky area. Language. Yeah, they're turning expletives into normal words. That's, yeah, that's what been, happens when you have a um, an era up. where culture can pretty much progress like crazy, pretty much. Yeah. Well... Because it was a culture again, thing. Again, Again, what what you call uh, um, evolution, I call de-evolution. <laughs> yeah, I understand where you're getting this, but uh, really, it's not it's not hard to fix that. I mean, like, it's kids doing that most of these days, and kids is like the well, main no, popularity stuff. So. However, the adults, the supposed adults, are picking up on it uh, heavily, and they're using it heavily, which tells me that uh, they never grew up. <laughs> I'm actually disgusted with most people within my age group because they never grew up. I almost got that Gunzerking potion. Yes, you know what guns are king potions do, Nez? They basically let me duplicate my gun temporarily and use both at the same time. <laughs> oh, so you can, uh... You have double weapons. So you become... So it double turns into enemy. Doom to Borderlands. Like so. Or Wolfenstein, if you want to consider that, too. Oh, yeah. So in Wolfenstein, you dual-wield everything. What is that long stream of characters that shows up sometimes? Right in the middle of the screen. Oh, uh, the character, the, the face was like a face of someone or something. No, it's just a long stream of characters. I can't read it. Oh, it's just I found a secret. It's just saying party. Oh, it's saying party. Why, why does it just say party instead of having all those? It's, it's just part of the, it just this game is somewhat of a meme in its own way Okay. Or it acts like one um, at least a little bit. I'm so tired of memes, but everybody loves them Yeah, I know what you mean man. The problem is there's a current oversaturation of memes at the moment The meme mark you is know too what? High. People, 
people take that so seriously, memes, that when I call them memes, they get, uh... Memeology. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know, like, people just take them too seriously at this point. And even though they're not supposed to be taken ser so serious. The they're meant to be just a joke. That's basically yeah. the whole point. Yeah, and when I call them memes, I get people that get angry with me. It's like, okay. <laughs> I mean, they're supposed to be joked around with. But, yeah. Here, I'll show you a tech-approved meme. Attack approved. Attack approved. Wow. <laughs> I almost launched myself. I almost got to that blue key without having to actually do anything. What I love about these things. There we go. Crap. I'm not even supposed to jump. Like, it doesn't let me jump, and I just glitch myself into sliding upwards. Good. Gotta turn it on just so I can get it out. There we go. There's a tech approved movie. A tech approved? <laughs> By the way, uh, Nez, most of my guns are upgradable. <laughs> oh. Oh god. And they get extra I'm... features on them and stuff. Like. Oh nice. You I just glitched the map? <laughs> yeah, I. I. I, I Hit a, hit a curved object and I slid upward. <laughs> nice. Uh -oh. when I, so I decided just to enable jump just to get the hell out of it as at least. So, so the clipping was wrong. Yeah, I basically abused a curved area. Essentially. The clipping wasn't strong enough to keep you out. I also gotta be careful because this shotgun literally flings me across the map half the time. By the way, can I, st mm. can I send the Mei Mei in, uh, in, uh, Twitch? Memes sure. can always go. If, uh, if you read that tiny little, uh, text on his armpit, it says tech approved. <laughs> it is. With everybody's ridiculous of memes these days, I figured I'd make that one. Tech approved. <laughs> well, I guess, you know, I've been like... Oh, it's... It's memic. Much like the SCPs, it's memic. Because it spreads <laughs> like wildfire. <laughs> There's just a lot of things I can kill here. That's just more. Oh, fun. you you can't you can't actually send it as an image. That's a shame. Oh, no, that's you... Twitch works. Well, Twitch doesn't support that kind of thing. It's not like Discord, where you, it's a social platform that literally you can utilize links and such and preview them. Yeah. Let's see what? Oh, I only have a med kit right now. Spare items. Yeah, you're welcome to share that with anybody you like, because it's tech approved. <laughs> tech approved, tech approved. I got another tech approved one for you. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Just want to expand your arsenal, don't you want Nezo? <laughs> yes. I'm a meme collector, as they say. Likes only the exquisite, the most exquisite of memes. There's <laughs> yes. another one. But in hell, Nezo, <laughs> I'm probably if I ever do get a, like a Twitch partnership thing or something somehow, oh, yeah. enough followers, I'm definitely making my quality lizard a fucking thing. What is? Uh, oh, what is that Twitch I thing? I got another do? one. What? I got another one. I forgot about. Nice. Yeah, I just died. I got sludged. Oh god. <laughs> Tech approved. This is gonna be in the, the meme hall, as they say. The, the hall, hall of the memes. memes. Yeah, this is uh... The memebos, the mumbos. Tech, these are the tech approved memes. Uh, I, I just flew around too much and just died because of that. 
I gotta not do that. <laughs> These are a special collection of memes. Collect them all. Collect them all. Oh, dude, you should get you collector got... memes. <laughs> tech, a, tech approved. Collector meme. Those Only the damage. rarest of pet days. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, remember when like Pokemon cards were actually like famous? I remember having the golden McDonald card thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the golden McDonald card. I still have one. My brother got <laughs> I it. I still have one too. Eight. I have like oh, one God. somewhere in my room. Yeah, it's lost in the Charizard, random. I, believe. I got a Mewtwo. Mew oh, whoa, you got a Mewtwo? <laughs> that, oh, that's about to sell for what? Like 20 bucks? <laughs> I'm a 43 year old man and I walk with a cane, so that's why they're all appropriate. Oh. <laughs> well, you're 43 and you walk with a cane? I feel sorry if you act like. Yeah. Do you have like a limp or something? Yeah, I, I have back issues. I have a deformed vertebrae in my lower back, lower lumbar. Is that a hold on? Oh man. Dragons. You're getting uh, you're getting a little too uh, feisty with your fighting style. You got be more tactical. <laughs> you mean the you saw the point where I just flew everywhere at the speed of sound? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Gracefully <laughs> moving past half the projectiles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get what you mean. I actually did have to like tone it down a little bit. Yeah. He died two times already in what, like ten seconds? <laughs> Just because of that. Yeah. Got plenty of shotgun shells, though. Plenty of shells to go around. I'm you also somewhat anonymous on the internet. Really? I think we all are. <laughs> that, that, well... To some extent. more than others. Meme-wise, oh yeah. You're gonna so say meme-wise. Alright, I had to make a shitty joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, say it again, I must cringe. <laughs> on, burn. Oh yeah, um, Hell Knights do a shit ton of damage. In this, like, setup. Let's show the difficulty I use. What are they called? Hellays? Hell Knights. Oh, by the way. It's the um, white goat guys, pretty this. much. Oh. I do want to show you this, but I didn't put my approved stamp on it. So, don't spread it around. <laughs> <laughs> it's not approved yet. Like a Chinese bootlegger, I will basically spread it around. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> It's gonna be quite a while until it's I've been, approved. I've been attacked <laughs> so many times by the idiots. That's why that one came about. Oh, jeez. Hey, we're mad at fuck. I'm really low. Don't worry, you can oh. do it. I there we go, we got a health pot. I told you. Actually, I need a new spell. I'll get. I'll probably get fireball. Bit once I kill enough memes. Oh wait, I actually. This is uh, this is more of a newer game, ish, I guess. Um, I was actually thinking. Have you ever heard of Observer, Nezo? Of oh, I was just looking at that. I want to get that. It looks amazing. It reminds me of Soma. Soma? Really? Yeah. It just reminds me of a fighting game. Observer is not a fighting game. It looks. It functions the same way as Soma. Oh, so it's a puzzle game. Or more or less try not to die game. Oh, try not to die. I mean, a lot of games are try not to die games. But this is Ooh. emphasizing on it a little bit. <laughs> Okay. This is a meme that's actually true. Oh, look out, we got a true meme here. Ooh. 
The Ed meme. <laughs> meme and all memes. Those beams. My terminal in this. Ugh. Yeah, I can just imagine a 12 year old girl posting it on her Facebook wall right, right now. <laughs> oh boy. I made that one because uh, I'm all, I also think philosophical. Alright, I, I think we all have the capability to, and I think we all do at some points too. Like it's a it's a natural thing to think about life and talk. About. I'm I'm philosophical and scientific and technical all wrapped up in one. That's an unusual combination. It very much is so, because in most cases there's always the scientifical and the philo uh, philosophical. The scientifical guy usually breaks the mood. <laughs> Scientific. And you, it's well, mainly because often when someone's, <laughs> it's mainly because usually when it's the scientific guy, it's usually um, often going to turn into a literal scenario. That's true. <laughs> However, when I'm uh, thinking philosophically and scientifically, uh, I tend to question science. Hmm. Is that the point of philosophy anyway? To question things? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm very scientific, but I'm also philosophical. So I end up questioning science. Okay, that rush helped a lot. That was a good rush attempt on my part, basically. Well, hello. 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 Oh, hey, I'm gay. Wow, you're just... Right now. Yeah, I see that. You're just shredding through this level, aren't you? He yeah. is not. <laughs> as much as I can with this, um, setup. He died four times, I counted. But Vanguard ain't an easy map. Don't you have money, enough money yet to get the fireball skill? It's a thousand gold. I need to scratch up. Oh, okay. So wait, uh, one kill is one gold? Is that it? No, some enemies drop a tiny amount of gold, other ones drop gems and like bags of gold. Depends on the creature oh. you kill. So if there's like a bunch of cyber demons, I'm gonna get like the most out of everything. This guy's just getting fucked. <laughs> Problem is I'm gonna have to buy a medkit instead. Well. Uh, don't tell me it glitched. Yeah, it glitched. Can't buy anything. There's a, there's one problem with this mod. It basically just breaks it. If you um, try using checkpoints, it breaks basically. Hmm. It's a problem. I mean, like it will break for like buying pickup items basically, and probably getting the, the upgrades. And maybe that's it. I think you can still get spells though, most part. It's a complication. It sounds like a hindrance more than a complication. It basically means I gotta play a oh, purist yeah. style. You got Iron Mike Man check. mode this shit. Mike check. Do you wanna yeah. hear another another truism? Sure. Yeah, I can still buy spells. Preg pregnancy, by definition, is a parasitic infection as well. <laughs> of course, not only do you have to spend money, you also have emotional weight. <laughs> oh, there you go. I mean, it's a truism. I'm not lying. <laughs> what does the word so. truism actually mean? <laughs> It's a, a concept or a statement that is true. That looks like a high definition explosion. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I don't think that's um. Yeah. Well, fuck you too, chain gunner. I just burned you. Wait, never mind. He's still alive, apparently. Who could have known?
Oh, I'll just throw a bunch of fireballs in there and I'll kill like half of them. Okay, the definition of truism. A statement that is obviously true, or that is often presented as true. Oh, I need to get the blue key. I know how to do this. So a truism statement. I'm surprised this is an actual. This is actually a word. <laughs> truism. Truism. That it, comes from that... a, it comes from a prescriptive dictionary, so we know it's true. Okay, I may as well grab the key without being on there. Yes, another truism would be the grass is green. Yes, grass is, is ass. True. Or Kim Kardashian has cancer. <laughs> or the grass is ass. The a that ass is grass. <laughs> <laughs> when I say thank you to a Mexican, I say grassy ass. Not there. <laughs> I would say that, but my uh, my four years of Spanish I have all but forgotten, so... <laughs> Double I quad barrel. Adios. I never say adios, because adios is... I can actually fly with these permanent. shotguns, by the way. It's more of a permanent goodbye, whereas, like, hasta luego is see you later, or hasta mañana, see you tomorrow. But adios sounds cooler. But adios is more of a permanent goodbye, like you're never gonna see Does your dude again. have like four hands? I'm trying to understand how he's actually holding the shuck. <laughs> I don't fucking know, it's magic. It's a port- yeah, I mean it's always magic, isn't it? It's magic! You gotta love magic. Yeah, man. It fixes everything. Just when you need magic. a bullshit and explanation, it's magic. How does, yeah. this, how does this have 4,000 views, but there's only four people watching at the current moment? Yeah, I'm actually, I'm... it's, no, it means total views of my, like, entire, like, stream of stuff. Chan of channel? Yeah. Wow, that's... Channel views. I huh. think you had one booming moment when you're playing D&D &D or something. No, it was playing Roblox. <laughs> as sad <laughs> as that may be. Fucking Roblox. Lovely. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, I wasn't doing anything Probably autistic, that's for sure. Normally, I'm not uh, one to uh, watch gaming videos, but uh, I'll tell you what, if you let me know, uh, maybe in a DM or something that you're going to have one, I'll try to join. Oh, just check the live stream chat. I know, but oh, yeah. I don't, oh, I don't check the channels here too much. Oh, okay. Well, I know how you feel. I, I do have my own server to run, too. Mic check, how, what has your existence been so far? Because I haven't seen you ever on this channel. Because I never show up on this channel ever. <laughs> he just, he literally just sits there and talks to Henri or something in like a different channel. No, uh, I actually never go on this channel. The only time when I go on this channel. No, I'm on the other like, channel. Oh, the other, other channel? I don't yeah. think it was Henri. Uh, All I know is he talked to someone. Probably John. Uh. Also, how I got my, my actual like name is Sender, but I actually got in one chat and just started like yelling at my mic, mic check, and then <laughs> Jack changed my name to Mic Check, and he's like, "There you go." <laughs> now you can always check your mic. <laughs> I can always check. I hate my that. I hate that when other people start changing your name arbitrarily. <laughs> it's more or less for the sake of just situational. I'm sure, he, I'm sure he'd change it back if he asked, but you know, some people get nicknames they have to stick with for the rest of their lives. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna keep this nickname. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why you're stuck with it forever. Well, you if, don't... I say, if I say mic check, one, two, three, mic check, he's gonna be wondering what I'm talking to him about. Well, there's a, diff well, there's a difference when, well, that's his fault because he's the one who is screaming it into his microphone. <laughs> <laughs> It's his fault that you can no longer speak to him in a in an impressive manner. There's just too much. There's just too much fire in there for me to tell him what's over there. No. Oh. Jesus Christ! Can, can you say particle effects? Can you spell particle effects? 
I, 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 I'd have to think about it, honestly. To spell it. Particle effects, really? I, I before E, except after C, right? No, I just memorized it. I before C, at, except after Spleed, basically. <laughs> this is what I'm doing to this. You got, more di you got more dynamite than a Californian miner. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got like seven. Seven bundles. He is still alive. Okay, now he's dead. It's like one a a barrel shotgun or something to kill him. That's how much I'm shooting. I'm shooting eight shells every time I fire this big ass monster of a gun. Yeah, apparently, it just doesn't give a fuck about you, your family, or anything you stand for. <laughs> Whatever that means. All right, all right. I need to find my way around town. Reminds me of Making Boy my Boy. way downtown, walking fast, shooting fast. <laughs> <laughs> Running fast and <laughs> stabbing fast, <laughs> punching fast. Right. Oh no! Fuck this! Uh, oh no! Oh no! That's that's that, that's precious time off your speed run. <laughs> a bunch of rev, rev, a bunch of fucking like um arch files or something spawning out of nowhere, murdering. My character, as soon as he spawns. You know Good what I was stuff. thinking about today? I was contemplating, like, suplexing the dread, the, uh, the Death Knight as soon as I get into the game Friday. <laughs> 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 I, I was thinking of how fun it would be to, like, meet the... Uh, my brain's been coming up with some weird-ass scenarios today. I actually have something I might write in a fiction at some point about, like, a drunken monk and a gnome hunter. Featuring Jack Black. Yeah, featuring Jack Black. But, uh... But like I was thinking about like having a bar uh, meeting with the Death Knight and me and him just getting into it at the bar and just just basically a huge dude and a barbarian just suplexing each other through fucking tables <laughs> while the while the Luminous and the Syrian walk on watch on dumbfounded <laughs> test the <of> strength <laughs> the ultimate <laughs> test the strength oh Very wait much. I actually have a D and D story uh. I have this friend who played a barbarian, and I played a 15-year-old human rogue. So this barbarian got very bored one day in a tavern, came up to my character, uh, mind you, human rogue 15. <laughs> hey, you're barbarian in a medieval times. Yeah, barbarian half-orc <laughs> came yeah. by and says, let's fight. <laughs> Fists. <laughs> <laughs> Knife only, final destination. <laughs> so, no balls. Uh, <laughs> so basically what happened is I slept good tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you, uh, uh, I slept good that night on the bar table after I beat my ass. <laughs> yeah. uh, right, I figured out, apparently if you hit the arch vials once, they uh, warp away. That was the whole solution to it, apparently. If only you had a flamethrower, they could just like spin around in a circle. I have fire rest spell. That's yeah. what you're wondering. Also, I don't think I'm supposed to kill them all that way. You should, you should, you should go through this entire level just fists only. Just, just prove your worth. <laughs> you mean do a Mike Tyson run? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's called. And Why Mike? Dude, dude I, I, I would call it a fucking Saitama run. That's what I would call it. Fucking yeah, but it, no, the Mike, Mike Tyson run thing was a was a speed run type that was like around for like years. I'm not surprised. Yeah, Mike Tyson run. I wonder if I could do. Uh, I should do that for Uncharted. A Mike Tyson. The problem run. is it's next to impossible nightmare difficulty for most fucking players. I, I should do. I should do like, that. Probably, like, like compared to like just doing normal nightmare, there would probably only be like two or three people that will have a record at all <laughs> for it. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. But, I, but yeah, yeah, I think I should do. I should, I should go back and play Uncharted and do it in a Mike Tyson run. Just have like, just go around punching <laughs> every enemy except the bosses. Oh, I killed two of them. A little off time, a little off topic again. Uh, does anybody know where I can get a, a raspberry pie for under thirty-five dollars? <laughs> why would a why why would a pie be thirty five dollars? Is the real question. Not what not where can you no, get one that's under that? 
He's talking about a uh, piece of hardware. Mm -hmm. Oh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, all right. Computer stuff. Yeah, oh, I okay. Uh, Dude, I, I know. I know all about that. It's like a microcomputer, really. Yeah. Oh, I've never, oh, I've never heard of it. So. I love those things. My brother got me one for like Christmas, and it's so good. What are they even uh, for? Uh, like, what do you use them for? I'm gonna... Uh, just making stuff. It's well, it's fun to experiment my... with, basically. When I get it, I'm gonna use mine as a, a Super Nintendo emulator, so I can plug it up uh. to any display and start playing. Uh, I could see that. Yeah, I could see. I could see that being used for it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just a mini. It's a mini computer. Like that's all it is. It's... I actually could probably. I actually probably could deal with something like that for thirty-five dollars. It's not too bad if I just like used it to browse here and everything. Uh, yeah, I'm looking through here. Well, I'm getting the uh, Raspberry Pi, which so far the lowest price I saw was thirty-five dollars. Plus, uh, I'm getting a touch touch screen, t a case that includes a touch screen. For there we go. I killed the two arch files. Okay. By the way, in case you're wondering what this how this level functions, I had to kill all the arch files that were in that spawn with me. What the fuck, what the fuck is an arch file? It says white ass, like eyeless motherfuckers that raise the dead and light on fire, basically. Sick. And they're the bane of existence for many people. So they're naked luminous. <laughs> no, they don't glow. They're just assholes. Uh, by the way, if only they did glow. No, they don't glow, they just... Case... I'm sorry. Go ahead, it's okay. With, with the case that uh, includes a touchscreen for the Raspberry okay, so Pi, buy it. I'll be able to manage the, uh, the Raspberry Pi while also having it hooked up to a display for uh, the emulation. Oh, by the way, what uh, model you're looking for? Two, three? It doesn't really matter. Probably the latest model. Oh, Raspberry uh, Pi 3. Okay. Probably better to get the latest anyway. I'm sure all the versions will do what I need them to do, but you're you're safer with the latest version, I guess. That's true, but uh, with what you're trying to do, the most compatible is Pi 2 and up. Okay. Well, let's look for a Pi 2 or Pi 3 then. Especially if you're trying to do mid-level pixel graphics. Yeah, that's true. Uh, by the way, I, I, live, I live in Canada, so if you live in America, the, the prices I see will, will be a bit different. It would be like, only like 70%. <laughs> I can convert them. Okay. But, uh, Provided they don't uh, overtax the shit uh, out of it, that is. But the uh, emulator itself for the Super Nintendo is able to increase the graphics quality. So the Raspberry Pi needs to keep up with that too. Of course. Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to need an expansion for that maybe. Probably not a big one though. No, uh, Raspberry Pi 3 has a gigabyte of RAM. And that's usually more than enough for a fucking S SNES. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's more than enough. Yeah. Okay, then might be. Well, good. considering the emulator plus all 600 games, well, over 600 games, would fit on uh, a CD. Not a mm -hmm. DVD, a CD. Oh, a CD. Um, that revolver just fucked that guy. Yeah. Uh, first off, how a Raspberry Pi works, you're gonna need, um, what's that called? An SD card. Uh, an SD yeah. card. I think oh, yeah. By the way, um, MK, my gun, basic, my handgun is basically a like 50 caliber like deagle. <laughs> That's awesome. I can also fan it too. That's the worst part. Oh uh, yeah, I'm a if I upgrade style. it, if I upgrade it, I can fan it. It's high moon. All right. Oh, I don't have enough money, but I'm gonna basically. By the way, I can actually inject a Wraith into my dripple barrel and make it basically do shoot for me. So I can hold a different gun and it will float in the air while the shade shoots it for me or something. Sick. Problem is it's expensive as shit. I need to like, get like 7,000 gold or something. Ain't cheap. Hmm. Alright. Hold up. Oh, wait, hold up. 
I'll make it famous, easy. Might have seen me from the names of Cree with the dead. I ain't ready in the one, two, three. I'm one, two, three, dead or alive. You Wait, Hannah. That archbot killed me through a wall. Nice. Most of the Raspberry, raspberry Pi 3 things I found actually were well over 30. Got out there without going for them. And I instantly got full healed. I literally just did a rush, by the way. Are they, are they well over 30 in uh, Canadian money? No, they're well over 30 in American dollars. They're like 50 oh. bucks in can Canadian dollars. Okay. That's probably well, like for, then they're probably like in for, they're probably like thirty dollars in normal standards. I was hoping I could find one less than thirty dollars because of uh, the I'm buying with it. That might not be. Actually, possible. hold on, I'll check that out right now. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch games huh? like in a sec anyway. I found one that's uh thirty nine thirty nine dollars and forty six cents in American dollars. They were like forty bucks. On yeah. average, forty uh -huh. bucks, forty bucks in Canadian dollars as well. Well, all right. Really All right, I'm Newegg. basically Newegg. gonna switch to gameplay mod and weapon mod now. Uh, well, I'm looking through uh, actually map mod and gameplay mod. So, I'm just looking through Amazon. All right, the dying <laughs> end. Welcome to Amazon. How may I help you? Uh, I already checked Amazon. The space Hunter. Yeah. Space Hunter is kind of tricky. It's like a it's like a contra like shooter setup. Oh, is it got to do the dying end? Can a kit? Where the fuck did I put that? Put Vanguard in the right area. Ooh, oh well, I guess I'll Vanguard. find it later. Have you streamed the thing video game? <laughs> Trying to find the dying end right now. Ooh, I was just good. curious because if all I can get it for is thirty-five dollars, then that's what I'll have to do. But I was hoping to get it cheaper. Space hunter, space hunter. Did I actually get it, or is it just like stuck somewhere else? You can always Try find it, it falling off the back of a truck in Jersey. Oh yeah. No shit. <laughs> that's the cheapest. Well, I'm, not, I'm not gonna spend all the money going to Jersey just to do that. Well, I'm not blaming you, MK, for. <laughs> You mean pissing away the money to go yeah. to Jersey? There's no spending money to go to Jersey. There's wasting it. <laughs> I don't blame you, MK. Blame I'm me. Easy. I don't blame, blame you. I'm not blame me for what? What do you? What? No, I'm saying it's kind of true. <laughs> oh yeah, this is true. I mean, I only know that because I know a few Dagos. Right, At least we're not going this. to Detroit. I mean, as long as Robocop's there, it might not be too bad. As long as you stay steer away from the ghetto, you should be fine. You have to stay in the inner city to stay out of yeah. trouble in uh, Detroit. Yeah. Or just go to the worst neighborhood you can find and scream the N-word at the top of your lungs. Oh, All right, the dying, dying end just does not work. I went to reroll the map. You die faster than the dying end literally died. Is what I'm saying. You know, if I, you know what? That that will be. You know, I always picture my death as like like stabbed in a Walmart parking lot. But if I could just like quickly get shot in a neighborhood, that'd be great too. <laughs> For literally ten out of ten service. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I leave an Amazon. I leave like a fucking Google Maps review with my dying breath of ten out of ten. Got what I wanted. At right. Bronx Street. You're to throw bombs. Your beam starts weak, but can be upgraded. You can also start with twenty missiles. They're powerful, but the enemies drop health from extra missiles. All right. Is this a fucking? This looks like. Is that Doom Guy pixelated? What? Oh, somebody just replied to me. They said the A plus and the B plus originals are selling for twenty five dollars, but they're out of production. Sad face. Oh. <laughs> but he tells me where I can get them, even though they're out of production. Oh. This is interesting. Does that mean they're actually even out of production then? Well, yeah, it's like a third third party uh, 
Mm, mm. Is that a mainstream mm. production then? All right, I found something here. Uh, it says thirty nine ninety five here, but I don't know it. I don't know if it's actually the price in America. Yeah, well, or... as I fight a bunch of zombies while using something that almost seems like Metroid almost. It looks like a it looks like a penis. Of course it does to you. I, I mean, no, just look at it. It's even thrusting outward, like some sort of robotic dildo. <laughs> you can't tell me that doesn't look like a penis. <laughs> <laughs> Only you. That's not just, no, that's just not me. That is it. It's look, <laughs> the shaft is opening to fire. <laughs> look at the head. It comes open like a, like a claw game. <laughs> Ready to snatch the pussy. I'm not even gonna explain the hell you're trying to say, basically. You can go Don't ahead and explain me. to all four viewers. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna post a URL. Oh, I found one too. What if she's pay, uh B two uh two B? So it's a uh, second Raspberry Pi. Let's see. Let's see. Check that page out. It's also that. If you want to check that out. Ooh, Raspberry Pi Zero. Yeah, that's like the first Raspberry Pi, but I don't know if it's... Ten what... bucks. It probably doesn't have the pinouts I need, though. I think someone made this into a map on Killing Floor. Oh, yeah, they did. Raspberry Pi Zero. Yeah, yeah I, re I remember this map. I remember this map. This is And they probably did it for two. They also probably did it for Killing Floor 2 as well. I'm Maybe. gonna be surprised. I haven't, I haven't seen it to make custom maps on Killing Floor 2. I think it's been like a bit since I played it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just play Killing Floor 2 now, yeah. and it's fun. I don't I, think I can even consider the Raspberry Pi Zero because uh, it wouldn't have the pinout I need. Yeah, I, mean, it's I, all good. I, I think the Killing Floor character designs are better than Killing Floor 2's. Alright, there you well, go. Well, it's, it's more or less similar characters. Oh, I mean, I mainly, I just, I, I just miss Kevo the Chav. That's who I miss. All right, the one I, why well, I just sent was Raspberry Pi two, thirty, thirty-five dollars and fifty cents. But Mr. Foster is awesome. And that's in you. That's in U.S. dollar, by the way. So, thirty-four dollars and fifty cents. So it's like what a fifty cents cutoff, maybe. Oh, I can fire frozen shots now. Welcome to Doom for Kids. <laughs> Doom for Kids. Counter Strike for Kids. Defuse the present. Yay! Oh, defuse dear. the spaghetti. You can't defuse the spaghetti and you failed. Good for you. Yeah, you cheese. I thought you said you got cheese the spaghetti. I'm like, let's get Eric in here. Rub all that gouda on him. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's, how can I take your order? <laughs> Welcome to the meme zone. Meme meme. You know, honestly, I think I'd rather work at Freddy Fazbear's where I have a chance of dying every night than work at Chuck E. Cheese where I have to live every day with my internal suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what I just found? I what found a found? Raspberry Pi Zero version 1.3 for $5. Wait. Raspberry Pi Zero? There's the link. Ooh, add it through for Raspberry Pi Zero version 1.3. How do I get this to shoot wave? I guess. Dude, why is with the brightness on this level? I can't see shit. I can see just fine, dude. In that little hallway, it was dark as fuck. I was able to see. Let's see. Again, it doesn't take much, much lighting it for me to see. It even has an HDMI output or input. Mm -hmm. Let me that see. Thing. I, I mean, like, it. I'm just playing vanilla maps because that's what I rolled. But hey, well, all right. So what it has here it has a four gigabyte plus card with operating system. All right, go with that. You keep forgetting I have the throwable bombs. 
Which the first thing I would do is change the operating system. Mm. <laughs> Glorious grenade. Frick, I'm not getting the technical details I want. Where is it? Data sheet. Here we are. Data sheets. Density. 4 gigabits. Organization. Ooh, awesome. yeah, we have to we have to kill Hitler with this grenade. The orange ball. Oh, it even shows that it has uh, the ability to play 1980s uh, games, authentic games. I'm just trying to find the the spec. Yeah, there's a. I died. Each. Time to throw the weapon that surpasses Metal Gear, aka the Orange Ball. Aka Blue Dra Blue Dragon's Bad Dragon. The oh weapon to surpass Metal Gear. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm I'm looking no. at the ARM data sheet, and it has everything you'd need. No oh. cock like horse cock. Shut the door and turn the lock. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Is your cock a horse cock? You will never hear me saying nay. It's awful. <laughs> it's awful. What does that mean? <laughs> You, you never, yeah, you never heard that song. No. It's like, it's like Bad Dragon and like like made a bunch of songs promoting their products after Fallout Four came out, and it's literally They're basically called, making, like, it's basically just garbage. No, that song is I wonderful, and I'm gonna post it. I haven't heard any so-called music after 2005. Oh, this I throw flames now with my moms. Lately, I've been uh, going back to the uh, good old wave gun, instru classical instrumental, you know, like Bach and Beethoven and Chopin. By the way, um, Neza, this is kind of like a toned down Metroid almost. This in terms one? of guns, in terms of like like Metroid One weaponry, except you're not using a arm cannon; you're just using an actual gun. Wow. Right? Yeah. Oh, so this is just like Metroid. In terms of like the weapon, the attacks, yeah. Oh, cool. I, I like it. It's like a pretty decent like mod. Hmm. Yeah, like these, like you got your throwing bombs. It's just like, it's not like um fully like it. It's more or less like there's some spins to it, kind of. Oh yeah. I Bomb understand spanner. none of this data sheet. Let's see here, like tech. I'm I'm looking through this data sheet. And I'm not finding anything I understand. Anything that you understand? Okay, let me give you the breakdown that somebody else gave me here. Let's see. Right. This is it All has right, a one died. gigahertz. Has a one gigahertz arm of the same type of Pi 2 that had a 900 megahertz arm. Uh, two USB ports, HDMI out, and an SD card slot. Uh, one of the USB ports uh, is an input, not an output. And it can only act as a host. Uh, I might just shift so to a different means... weapon mod after a bit. You know, if I keep progressing, because this I do not feel like playing vanilla. So Apps. you can't play. So basically, tech, you can't play multiplayer games. You can't plug in two controllers. Right. Unless you add on other hardware. Uh, yeah. He said that uh, he could add on a Teensy board next to it. Uh, that would give those abilities. Have you ever heard of the Teensy? Teensy board? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would look into that too. They're pretty inexpensive. Uh, 
It has a, up to an 8 gigabyte card. No, an 8 gigabyte card minimum. <clears throat> Wheezy, the operating system, Wheezy, will work in 4 gigabytes. Jesse and later will not work. Oh, are you talking about a tinker board, by the way? No, Wheezy is an operating system by Debian. Uh, based oh. on Linux Core. Uh, Jesse is a, a, a later version of Debian Linux, but that and later versions will not work. I just love the throwable bomb. Fucking uh, uh, I somewhat limited them. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go with either Pi 2 or Pi 3. Yeah, Pi, Pi 2... I think Pi 2 is more for, like, inexpensive. Like, I have a Pi 2 right now, and it's, a, uh, it's actually good for what you need. Pi 3 and over, like, you're basically... Adding on to it. Um, duck, yeah. Better run, better run, better run my gun. The kids with their arm up kicks. That's, that's a good, that's actually a good song. What is? Mm. I forget what it's called. Um, a Foster okay. the People Pumped Up Kicks. Yeah. That song's also very depressing because it's all about like like school shooting and shit like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> which you only realize if you listen really closely why? to the lyrics. Why not? The question is why. Why anything? Why, why, why not anything? is not an answer. Maybe the maybe the idea was that they were supposed to use their music to I guess bring attention to a national tragedy or some form of it. Pretty much. But who doesn't know already? Well, I guess people who just haven't had the experience, probably. Well, I, I haven't had the experience, and the I already know. The amusement park ride, the school shooting experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, at, that's at the new Disneyland, right? <laughs> the one in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. what do you get about these uh, um, these months where they have like a month of uh, cancer uh, awareness or something? Everybody knows about cancer. Ah, some people don't know about cancer. The, the younger children don't know about cancer. Amish people don't know about cancer. Well, that's for their parents to teach them. That's all well, you want to go that way. I don't know, I thought the master plan was that there wouldn't be any parents anymore. <laughs> oh, you got your anti-vac people too. Oh, yay. Fucking anti-vac people, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I guess in that case you can just let evolution take its course. No cock like horse cock. Shut the door and turn the lock. <laughs> Why is it? Is that like stuck in your head or something? I love that song. I just heard someone it's start playing. <laughs> it sounds mean. Because <laughs> <laughs> that song is great. Why else would I not have it stuck in my fucking head? It's actually been a while since I listened to it. Because like I heard it a while ago when like Fallout 4 did come out, and I just forgot about it, and I thought about it again. Talking about horse cock today. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, to be honest. The, I love that the fact that the album is called Blast Radius. It's it's it's, <laughs> it, 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 it's that's double entendre because it's like it's like nukes because it's Fallout Four base, but it's also because of like you know probably semen. The blast. <laughs> <radius>. <laughs> <laughs> like, it sounds like a dirty joke. Like, just waiting to have to be made. The whole much. song is a dirty joke. Pretty much. I got the red key. Yeah. Here. Oh. This is my friend. His name is Hiroshima. He certainly has a blast for you. <laughs> HP. E. Yeah. 
I'm a green ball while you have to go out there. The lyrics of that fucking song, though, I think my favorite line is Send your asshole into shock. <laughs> <laughs> it's something you can only accomplish through, through true music writing. <laughs> You know, it's just literally designed to just be pure, like, garbage lyrics. <laughs> Answer of the highest caliber. Okay, I did a power search. And I came up with no results. You know, you can only have only the finest of cancers. Your memes. I don't understand why Tech decided to Photoshop his emblem into a bunch of overdated, uh, underdated me, over, over, outdated. There we go, outdated memes. Plenty um, under and over, over under, and under, over, asshole into shock. <laughs> All right, I'm hey, those are Tech approved memes. I didn't make them. I'll just give this. I'm re-roll now. I feel like Vanilla Doom 1 is not gonna want to fucking deal with whatever I just fucking rolled. Alright, we got Epic and Demon Stella. Steely. Whatever I call it. I have this... this gut feeling that you're a troublemaker, MK. Why am I a troublemaker? That's like quiet, I'm actually... Gut feeling. I don't know, I'm actually quite well behaved. I pretty much dislike any sort of social interaction, so it pretty much keeps me out of trouble. Okay. The I haven't been that so I re-rolled it. I was like, nah. I'm not gonna torment that game. Such mods, because I got Demon Steel. Did I post porn today? No, I did. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Actually. The explanation. First thing he thinks of, and literally, is if he fucking posted porn today. I was thinking about doing it in the middle of the speech class, and I was like, "Well, I sit at the front. Everyone behind me would see that." So I decided not to do it. That's funny. And just you know, sometimes, some you know, I just I grace everyone with my presence as I post this pornography. This one's of a dragon fighting As you a make long every, boy. as you make everyone's question your existence. My existence is purely based on nothing, and I will gladly admit that. So wait, you're doing Doom, Vanilla Doom One? No, I sw I rerolled it. I don't think it needs to be. I overplayed the Vanilla Doom map so much that I don't want to fucking do it ever again. Oh, okay, so you're doing epic now. The hell's epic? Epic is another slaughter map of the sorts. The difference now is what I'm using to place it. Unlike your typical map, this has a different fucking outlook on it. The porn for today is a picture of a Chinese version of a dragon fucking a blonde boy. Just so everyone gets that, just so everyone gets that image in their head. Wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, Raspberry Pi 3 model, Broadcom. Oh god. Yeah, fight Tyson! Fight Tyson! I see more Jackie Chan than anything. This is true. 64. Well, more two, more two. So what? Uh, I'm drinking my my character is drinking monster energy to heal himself or herself Hi. I guess. Why not? <laughs> this, yes, this is partial memes. This... Dead. Damn. Yeah, somebody, somebody told me I should probably fork over an extra twenty dollars to get a QB board. A QB board. Yeah, which does a lot more than uh, Raspberry Pi. Huh. You need a blue key, Greg. QB board. I've never actually heard of them. I haven't heard of them either. Oh, oh yeah. QB if I need a blue key, then I'll make one of them out of bone or this and just like snap a fucking Imps arm off and just use that. 
Yeah, well, I mean, just... if, you're, if you're going to actual production of stuff, take QB board if you want to get like in the nitty gritty, I'd say. But if you're just trying to make like a fun little project, definitely go for Raspberry Pi. It's just snap, snap a goblin's dick off and use it as a blue key. If I use a QB board, then uh, I won't have to worry about issues that might show themselves with uh, the Raspberry Pi while I'm working on it. Hmm. You know, like, I might run into limitations with the Raspberry Pi that I can't get around while I'm working on it. Or the cube where I should run into this. Hmm. Man, you're oh. shit at- you're shit with that lightning. It doesn't do a damn- it doesn't do enough. It's only like a stun thing or something. It looks like it should be doing something, because every, every time you blast it, it looks like it's just nothing. I know. It's annoying. It, well, it's, it's like it's, you, boy, sure. it, it's like you and Bet Gregory, every time you blast, it does nothing. <laughs> See, at the same time, I'm talking to somebody else that knows just as much, if not more, than me about digital technologies. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Why is it do the like weird ass like white like it looks like it looks like the textures are breaking whenever you get hit? Oh, it's because it's like cybernetic shit or something. It's like your character's like basically. I'm glad the big iron bar came down to stop your progress. <laughs> Otherwise, now it's just texture manipulation. Oh no, this big iron fucking bar. Oh no. He's got a ball with a nail in it. Oh no. I'm gonna get my sword. Where's my sword? Yes, I do get a sword, by the way. I saw that. No, I can get one, but not easy. Do you have to seppuku for it? I'm really surprised that was a thing in this game. Yeah, seppuku yourself. For, for your honor. For your family. Spawn two new items, you know. Like Binding of Isaac. Damn, that demon was just taking this like he was a porn star. The Isaac is binding. Isaac of bondage. That's not allowed anymore because that's kind of kinky. That's not allowed in Britain anymore. You know female ejaculation isn't allowed in British porn. Why is this what? a question? Have I told you about this? Why is this a bit of information while I'm streaming? <laughs> I don't- that's just- I, I just like- think, I was just- it's just an interesting fact. I don't know why, but like some softcore shit has been banned from uh... Uh, British porn for I think the reason was because sure. it was like because it was close to adolescent things like spanking was banned, female ejaculation was because it was too close to Shit, pee I or something like that. Damage. Wow. Oh, man, you are one sick puppy. What? Huh? Who's a sick puppy? You are. How's the? I'm. Well, okay, apparently I just warp it into an unknown location. Yeah, I post them because I know at about them. At this point... Them. I don't... At this point I don't, don't like, get surprised at all by it. Pretty much. I, mean, well, I didn't it. say I was surprised, I said uh, <laughs> it's just sick. As it's sick though. Are you, in, are you implying I get some sort of pleasure from it? Well, why else would you post it? Just to have something there. Yeah, Greg, like, the um, MK does, doesn't care much well, about it. That's more or less, he likes it. productive. It's more or less, I guess, he just posts it just to post it. Case. Pretty much. 
As an anti productive if he made a channel, I'm posting stuff in the channel that is technically considered food. He's using the channel like it's meant to be. I, I am. I am. I am the pioneer of the lewd channel. I. I. Well, it was me mm. and what that one other guy who posted a bunch of goblin porn. <laughs> what? The, oh, fuck him, Muffin. None of this changes what I said. <laughs> I'm just. I, I can be as sick as you want me to be, Daddy Tech. <laughs> <laughs> you, you realize, Tech, the more you yeah, say, the worse it's gonna get. That's a typical reply to, to try and get me involved. That's a typical <laughs> I understand what you're doing. You know I want you involved, Tech. I want you in there. <laughs> what the <laughs> It's like... <laughs> it's in, like one dirty worry, joke after another I'm in your face. this sort of thing. Damn, the Tech must be a sexy man. He's got this thing happening a lot. <laughs> I got grenades dead. Well, it happens what is a this? A fucking like uh, tekahedron grenade or something? Their their tactics? Is there a group after you? Well, it's no, I'm the, saying uh, what I'm saying is, um, guys, as I found a fucking te texture hedron or something. It's 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 what tech? Sorry. No, I was just saying it's a typical tactic from your kind of people. My kind of people. Oh, Who are those people? The sick and twisted was... mentality of, of those people. I am so sick and twisted you don't even know, man. Oh, well, I do know. <laughs> what did I find? I found the hate spear. Do I understand it? No, but I know. Uh, I'm truly sick and twisted doing all these things. I'm, I'm sick, man. I just, I, I eat baby puppies for breakfast and I Shit, my name is <laughs> <laughs> Funny. <laughs> sick and twisted is do. only sick and twisted is only viewed by what? What is what is the proper term? Objectively. A QB truck. Oh my god. It weighs one pound. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's a mini computer, but it's uh, feature rich. Yeah. Oh my god. I could use the madness back from the back. Oh my god. <laughs> Two gigabytes DDR3. <laughs> HDMI and VGA. 180p display output on board. Right on oh. that 1 HP. There you go. By the way, it. With in Demon Steel, I don't actually have a hundred health. I just have one HP per stack, and it basically, if I take take a hit, I get vulnerability frames or something. Oh, uh, nice. But anyway, a mini computer that would be the way to go. The QB board. Yeah, the QB truck, no man, no, no less. <laughs> uh, yeah. punch that demon right in the testicles. Supports lithium batteries. Ooh. Oh boy. Sure. Like, <laughs> it's gotta be in HD. Full battery uh, I, power. My, I want my. I hope it's. I hope it's a D battery. Plus <laughs> it's uh, the built-in yeah, high bad. definition 1080. Does anyone remember the last time they needed to use a D battery for anything? No. Uh, maybe like a, like a floodlight, like. To like I mean, I'm like a torch or something. You know what those are? I think I have. I think I had like a boom box at one point. I, think... I also have a D battery. Like, like, this makes like it. Nice. So you just, like, like it makes like all that like base and shit. Well, that's because you're a doomsday prepper tech. The hell's a D battery? Uh, <clears throat> D battery is literally a thick ass battery. Battery brush. Actually, Tech, this is a question. If they got to the point where they could inject your consciousness into data, do you think you would go for it? No, that's when I would put my, uh, weapons that I bought to use. <laughs> you don't want to be an e-ghost? That sounds sick. <laughs> the, the science so like, you just have, like, some guy, like... Fascinating, and that's... Like you just got like some random guy, guy like. Game. That's why I. Uh, like to, that's why I watch the science fiction. Okay, you know what'd be worse? In real life, that's different. Okay, you know what'd be worse about it? What? 
If it did, if it made the person like wonder in the computer look like one of his fucking bed sheet ghosts. <laughs> look at him, look like a bed sheet ghost for a moment. Yeah. Just like, as I said, like, the science fiction of it is fascinating. That's why I like to watch the movies and play the games because they allow me to escape from reality. However, if it became like reality, that's a completely different story. I forget how I do that one ability. Let's approach the power strikes. It's supposed to be something I can do about this or something. Good. Well, maybe I, 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 I made up my mind. I'm going to go with the QB board instead of the Raspberry Pi. And I just need to... Uh, determine which one would be used most useful. Bit. I'd be fucking off while there's like a chain gunner somewhere in the distance. Oh, and with the QB, I'd be able to play the Doom games too. Oh. Little X. But basically, I want to turn it into an SN SNES emulator. It's and called SNES. SNES. And even a, even a, a combination of the SNES emulator as well as the uh, uh, arcade emulator. Because I do have a uh, an emulator for arcade ROMs. I really should not be sporadically throwing nades. I don't think so, you. But I'm just too impatient you, right now. You, you do know that they've been copying the ROMs from arcade machines and archiving them. Huh? And they have a special emulator that will emulate the arcade games. Ooh. Alright, it's gave me a few bullets. I guess that means I'm um, probably gonna see her probably soon. I don't know, I'm just talking out of my ass. What do I have to go with this? Oh, and by the way, Mike, check. If you do want an emulator and some games, let me know. Alright. Guys, like, what do you guys think of the stream so far? It's good. It's pretty. Good. It's been pretty good, actually. I got like ton. They're they're yeah. like I haven't even shown like the worst fucking mods in yet. Like I have like. I the, am back. Like there are two mods that I have well, so that are basically the most destructive and the least destructive. So what, Zach? Huh? Nothing. Oh, uh, I was I was gonna ask that you wouldn't be going for digital immortality. Actually, MK, yeah, what if you... Did you hear my one um, comment involving the digital technology thing, right? Uh, no, no, pretty much after, pretty much after Tech started explaining something, I, I dropped out for the rest of that. Oh, uh, I got one for you. What if um, the digital mortality thing was more or less, you're just like a fuck. it just simulates you as a bedsheet ghost? Ha. Uh, that would be hilarious if someone ironic at this one. 
They just got like boo or something. Like they don't actually can't say anything. They can just say boo, like an echoey fucking like reverb thing or something. Mm -hmm. I just, I know one guy in my Shadowrun group, he always plays a Decker, he would be hyped for it. He's like, as soon as they, as soon as they get the whole consciousness on like a floppy disk thing, I'm up there ready to sign in. <laughs> Reminds me of the game Soma. Oh, you mean with the, um, the copying of the thing where it's, actually it's not even... You can make a, you can make a, I'm sure you can make a floppy disk with a petabyte. I doubt that. <laughs> the way you said that was pretty great. The ideal like response that he was MK was looking for. <laughs> that was a great tone of voice. Yeah, I tend to speak properly whenever possible. That wasn't properly, that was more like uh it's more kind of flamboyant actually for you tech. Oh, like, oh my god, this is not flamboyant at all? I'll see you guys later. Hmm, uh, mm. did I run them off? Probably, I don't know. Huh. Strange kid. Wait a minute. Nez, do you see what I oh, see? By the way. What? Yeah, it's, it's loading the image, but it's not no. showing anything. No, apparently. <clears throat> Are you looking at the controls right now? No, apparently I can punch from 50 feet away. That's my what? friend M, for some reason, like, decided to watch or something. Oh, God. One friend. Oh, by the way, I am sorry for going off topic, but I, I do enjoy the stream. Yeah, fine. Oh my god, I see it now. You freaking... The ability to punch from five miles away? <laughs> Actually, not quite five miles, more like 20 feet, but it's still, in that... it's still impressive. That's kind of OP, mate. I'm not sure if it's an augment or something I'm using, like, or I'm supposed to like, do this like, regardless, or I can just like cheese. Maximum cheese. I love cheese. Apparently these undead don't. Probably because <laughs> they have to suffer my wrath. I want to hear what I sound like in your stream. So I'm going to say something and listen to it. No. Oh. That's the worst part. I'm so fast that it's difficult to do these like little small platforms. Ooh, I have a deep voice. Hmm. You do. What's this? I see. That explosives? A lot of ammo? I don't know. I guess I kind of cheesed it and got into areas I'm not supposed to be in. How come you didn't kill those guys? Because there's no point if they're not going to attack me at all. Or go near me. They're not going to produce anything? Not really. Enemies don't produce sight like drops or anything in this mod. Oh, okay. In the mod. What I'm looking for is a key. Kind of like my current complication right now. But there's uh -huh. one somewhere. Got to be here somewhere. Maps are always like hiding them. Gotta find the key. Plus, there's like a billion forts hey, everywhere. Looks like you got a Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> are those health? Do uh, you do? Actually, uh, food and drinks are basically health from this character. Yeah. God damn it, phone. So I have this. My phone. Yeah. Is broken. You're damning God because of your phone? Really? <laughs> no, I'm damning God because of giving me a horrible phone where I have to literally pop off the back and take out the you battery just to you. turn it off. He didn't give it to you. Oh, I got like a double jump effect. <laughs> I know, I can be impossible sometimes. <laughs> you know what? Take off the Let's back. use my psychic pop. punch. I have to pop it back on, and then hopefully turn it on. And then if it does the same thing again, I have to do the exact same thing again, 
plug it in, at least try to plug it in, to my charger, which is broken as well. My old um, Galaxy S used to be something like that when I used to have one. They're awful. Well, yeah, I have a Galaxy S right now. <laughs> like a oh, one? Why are those little birds flying through? Oh, that's particle effects. Like lightning or especially like lightning or okay. something. Well, I figured it was particle effects, but I'm wondering why they did that. I don't know, man. Probably design choice. Alright, there's a yellow key. Okay. Now, I guess I'm gonna just toss some nades in there. Yeah, I'm just cleaning up before I get in there. Oh, good. That's what he said. Alright, is there actually a way in, or is it just... You know what, I'll just use my good old-fashioned jump ability. I don't think anyone will mind. I don't mind. Yeah, I'm just I saying, don't. in terms of, like, first you mind. I'll leave it there. When in doubt, punch everything. <laughs> That's what my monk did. That's what monks do do. <laughs> when in doubt, punch anything. <laughs> yeah. They do to do do. Now what I have to do is not touch the phone. If I do, it'll stop charging and I have to fiddle with it for 20 more minutes. And then you instantly lose all of your saved data. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you have... Sounds like you have a connection issue. With my charger, yes, because I... I like, how, like, you have a Galaxy S1, right? Or is it like some other, like, newer version? It's Galaxy X. A Galaxy S5, actually. They never fix that. And things. I'm one of those... And I'm one of those rare people that does not have a modern digital phone. Flip phones are better, personally. Like, unless you, you want to, like, play games on the phone. If you're using it for other things, then probably get a smartphone. If not, you're probably just going to get a flip phone. Yeah. Yes, and nobody in this house owns a smartphone. Well, that's good. You don't have to fiddle with it for hours on end to try and get it to charge. God. Well. <laughs> I mean, there are exceptions. If, like, for example, you bend, you bend the charger, uh, the charger, well, but then, yeah. Or the charger cord, yeah. Well, yeah. there's a reason I don't own a smartphone. Simply because smartphones were designed for tracking and tracing. And I don't want to have to go in there and modify all that uh, telemetry software so that I'm not being tracked or traced. I think you're just being skeptical. No, I'm being realistic. <laughs> I still think that's being skeptical. Uh, well, this is a little smartphone. bit overly skeptical, I but guess, you, would be the you, proper term. But you don't understand that I have much more knowledge about that digital technology than you do. And that's fine. And that's not being, and that's not being, um, um, what do you say? Yeah, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to be, uh, or boost, boost my, toot my own horn, so to speak. Yeah, there's skeleton. It's my elevator. Yeah, uh, I've, I, been, I, I've been working with digital technology for over 30 years. I have a pretty good concept of how it works. That's why I try to maintain a certain level of anonymity on the internet. Mm, I think we all have to. But um, the thing about smartphones, what they're doing uh, is kind of like what Facebook does. Uh, you willingly give out your information. I say willingly because it's an option completely, and they uh, sell it. Some, some of it. Not all of it, like, not all of it. They only sell, like, the bits that, like, it's mainly for advertising purposes. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's exactly what the well, port smartphone does. You can't forget about the government purposes. Uh, now the government pur purposes, uh, hell, alright, here's the thing. Uh, I can literally go on, like, uh, what's it called? I can go on, like, Hell is that called? Uh, incognito mo mode on my phone. Like on, I can go on like the 
The internet, it incognito. Seriously doesn't work. It really does, actually. It re it just it prevents any data. It only provides a small amount of additional crap, but that's all it does. What I'm saying. Wait, what I like it? the benchmark things to see how reliable they are. And like something that causes like incognito or something is probably going to only give you like a small bit of assistance from avoiding shit. Other than that, it's not going to do as much. Well, what I found that it uh, it kind of cancels targeting ads, like targeted ads. Not much what I care about. Like ads, I like. Well, it cancels the ads, but the information being transmitted does not change. Huh? Punch all the things. Of Look, course, I'm just trying to. Pro I'm just trying to provide you information. I'm not trying to say I'm, you know, better uh, than you or anything like that. He's uh, just trying to state his point, basically. Right. Okay. Which is um fine. And all, if anything, like it's usually fine to do stuff like that. Yeah, some yeah. some people get extremely uptight about it, though, for some reason. <laughs> I know, and, and all I do is try to share information, that's all. I'm and kind of one of those people. I found out that most people are not willing to accept the information because they think they know better than I do. Oh god, I got like a bunch of stormtrooper looking zombies trying to attack me. I know, I don't think I I am better. In fact, I I think I'm completely like less superior in like the, the technology thing. Like I'm just getting into that technology. That shouldn't even be an issue. It shouldn't be an issue at all. It's just uh, an expression of information. That's how it should be taken. Mm. Still, I feel uh, incognito saves you from the important things when you're looking at. Well, it. if you're not being paranoid about other things, it's usually this, uh, like it'll print block whatever you wanted to in terms of like well, advertisements to some extent. Think about the word paranoid. Paranoid is an unjustified worry. What I'm okay. saying, what I'm saying and, is, it's more what, or less over, in terms of I'm like how is, people use it. Is what I'm saying. Okay, and what I, the way I see it and how I uh, interact with it is not paranoia; it's justified. Yeah, I'm not saying it's justified or not. I'm just saying it's a like the way people use it now. It's basically considered like. Someone going out of the way, basically, to... Out of the caution of something, probably going to intrude or something. In terms of, like... Well, I'll tell you what. They, uh... The powers that be rely on the people who don't know as much as they should. Uh, unlike me. Uh, I, I know better, therefore I take measures to prevent it. And they're not relying on people like me. They're relying on people that don't know better. Hmm. Crap. A lot of scorpion, look, scorpion knights at me. Uh oh. Go oh, psychic punch. End them. Anyway. So. Well, my eyes are getting really screwed up. Oh, I died. I might do one more roll of this before I basically stop playing this for the day, basically. It comes down to what this is. Well, maybe it's just me, but I have to look away occasionally in order to get my eyes straight. That one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to do that too. I mean, it's even for modern games, this game is pretty fast. Fast paced. Oh, I don't know what the hell Mechatron is, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> Half of these I haven't even used <laughs> well, yet. by the way, I downloaded some software that lets me put together my own uh, game show. So I, I'm thinking about doing a game show. All right, is this going to be a power trip speak. or some other mm -hmm. thing? Oh, I'll be right back. All right. Back to Saturn X. I think it needs pieces. Two-piece mod. Put it up. 
gonna take a couple seconds because I'm surprised I didn't get Russian Overkill this time. Okay. Um, Russian Overkill is really entertaining, by the way. Alright, this was clearly not designed mm -hmm. for widescreen. Especially by it's. You can make it widescreen. No, it's, no, this mod is not designed for it. That's what I'm saying. All right. I'm saying with modifications to the mod, it could could be widescreen. I'm back. Yeah. Welcome back. All right. So I'm playing a mod. Apparently, this mod is a mech mod. A mech. Ooh. Problem is, it's not. I don't think it was designed for. Um, you know, basically just widescreen, in general. Yeah. Alright, there are so many guns on this thing, it's so fantastic. Wait, I can shoot all of them at once if I want to. Ooh, mass destruction. i probably burn all my ammo, though. Holy cow! How many guns you got going there? I don't know. Now, that's what I call a mech. <laughs> And you can unleash everything at once. Holy cow, it changed the skyline. Or at enemies, I guess I have to go in and find enemies. Probably one of those. I got corpses, got zombies. This is kind of slightly underwhelming, but at the same time, it isn't. <laughs> it's average. Uh, do, do you ever get uh, swarms of enemies? I don't know. Also, I think... That would go perfect with this mod. Oh, yeah. Probably. So, just a slaughter fest, then. Slaughter map would be the proper term for it. Slaughter map. Yeah. Alright, I need I need an alternate HUD here so I can tell what the hell I I have available. Alright, so I'm out of rockets. Got flamethrower though. Got am ammunition and all that stuff. And I guess the laser gun doesn't cost anything. I guess it's just there to like be like the emergency weapon. Doesn't mm. do much. But yeah, I burned for quite a bit of ammo here. I guess that's the downside of using a mech. I don't get enough ammo. Well, that makes sense, actually. Uh, yeah, because you know. Not tough of question. Do you, do you think I hurt MK's feelings? I don't think so. MK probably doesn't care okay. what you say, really, for the most part. Maybe I just. He's not, he's not one to make a fuss over anything. So maybe I just. Bored. No, he just does whatever. Ah, okay. Very this indifferent like individual, basically. Dude. And I thought I was strange. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's, he's, he's extremely indifferent, though. About those things. I don't know. He seemed to like to hurl insult at me. He likes to hurl insults at everybody, really. That's just part of his personality. <laughs> Cynical. Pretty I much. I don't think that's a, a very good characteristic in anybody. Doesn't always no. have to be. That fire, that on fire animation for the enemy dying was superb. Only had more flamethrower ammunition. <laughs> Actually, I find this to be boring as fuck. I'm gonna probably use Bless a different you. one. Thank you. I'm just gonna reroll yeah. the weapon. My ears are going by Oh here. no. Do you want to see the worst weapon mod in existence? Hell yeah. Okay, let's see. What makes it so bad is basically the fact that it's, um... Your base- it's- It's called Extreme Weapon Pack. Quote unquote extreme. Extreme? Alright. Let's see this extreme weapon pack. Hmm. 
The question is, can I get to load the proper weapons? Probably. <sighs> yep, it loaded the proper weapons. Do you want? <laughs> Fun fact. This you may look like you. a normal weapon, but there are many problems with these weapons, including the fists. <laughs> okay. Notice anything wrong with the default why, why shotgun? Why do people release... Why do people release bugged mods? What are you are saying? I said, why do people release bugged mods? Huh. You know, buggy mods. Sometimes it's on purpose. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's uh, like by accident. They just never continue working on it. Yeah. Like, it started in beta. Well, it's like, oh, we're releasing that. Yeah, uh, most people don't have enough time. Alright, my gun's just not working. My shotgun stopped working, so I'm basically gonna have to just shoot the pistol and, and clean on it. The I on purpose. Like enough patience. By the way, fun fact, I can't shoot or switch weapons while cleaning the gun. Oh I'm god, I shoot. <laughs> oh no, my guy broke a nail now. Now he has to fix that and I can't switch, out a, we switch out a weapon with that. You can't fire with that? The gimmick of it. This is the shitty weapon mod. All your weapons are ass. You got the ultra rusty shotgun that will only work every now and then. <laughs> and you, you have to, you have the pistol that you have to clean every time you shoot it. <laughs> oh, you broke a nail! <laughs> oh my gosh! You you to fix it. I think there's also a poopy toothbrush as as the chainsaw. Ah. <laughs> uh... It's the only actual useful weapon in the game. <laughs> oh man. I'm on any time now, shotgun. Crappy, crappy weapons mod, you weren't kidding. Oh yeah, this is as as unfair as it gets for like weapons. And you're in it uh, when it comes to going against you. Extreme. Oh wow. <laughs> the worst part is the enemies are normal, so it's a lot harder to survive. Come on, shotgun. <laughs> You're gonna have to rely on the other- the enemies attacking each other. Oh no, but some enemies don't quite follow up properly with that. Like, pinkies are not very good at in fighting. Oh look, that time he just shot perfectly. Probably not gonna get that kind of shot ever again. Okay, it's time for the- the minigun. It takes five hours to fucking spin up <laughs> and flings me back at max Holy knock cow. speed. Where's the that? Oh yeah, if I get if I get a fight with a chain gunner, I basically die. In terms of like just dealing with these. There it is. Thought you said five hours. I guess you were exaggerating. It's exaggerating because it's literally taking an unnecessary amount of time. And I, you just get fling. If you just get flung. Fling and flung. Exaggeration. Fling flung. Okay, exaggeration, uh, sarcasm, and humor a lot of times will fly over my head. Huh? Mm. Well, you're gonna get a lot of exaggeration in my, like, streams. Well... I'll clarify them <laughs> before I take them at face value. Crap! I stopped shooting oh, and maybe had to clean the gun now. Oh. Fuck. My psychiatrist has me on a different medication and it's playing with my head. Oh man. Right, I just gotta never let go of this pistol. Like attack button. Let's hope I have enough ammo to continue it. Yeah. Yeah, but it's better than having to spend like 10 seconds to reload a, a cleaning gun. I guess if I run out of ammo, I don't have to. I guess that's a loophole. That's Ooh, what a, is that? This is a smooth tactic, I guess, in that case. At this point, killing them is kind of not pointless. Because if I kill any of them, I basically um, waste a shit ton of time and would pretty much in the process anyway. This is just all about okay, so running the away. The object is to just get through as fast as possible. Huh? In this case, yes, because it. But 
Actually, I'm gonna show you all of the weapons. Just for now. Mm -hmm. Alright, you got your toofy bro your toopy poopy rupra. Two for <laughs> sorry, tongue tied. Um, I was trying to do like a joke or something, but I failed horribly. Um, you got your half saw no <laughs> double barrel. <laughs> Flings you to the left, you shoot it. He has a trouble reloading it. Yeah, your chain gun that I already saw. Oh yeah, the, the rocket launcher fires duds. That just hit. That, that will just lightly hurt the person, but on on impact, and that's it. Because they won't actually blow up or anything. They'll just fall down. Oh yeah. And by the way, like the BFG is basically just fucking dial up in terms of like response speed and shit. Fucking awful. Those are some slow rockets. And you said they're duds, right? Like, they just kind of... They're guns. Yeah, oh, yeah, the plasma gun's basically a vacuum cleaner. Is that the gun? It takes a long time to load up. Oh my god. <laughs> it's basic. Error. Oh my god. Uh, oh. The only oh, one that's is. somewhat useful is the double barrel, and I guess the toothbrush, and I guess the Game Boy. I'll show you in a sec. That's a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> the vacuum cleaner actually seems like a good weapon. Wow. Oh, yeah. it, if you overuse. Fun fact if you overuse this, the Game Boy, it will kill you. Oh lord. These are some crazy modders. Hmm? Oops. Uh, if it overloads, I think it ends up just killing my guy. Actually, hmm. yeah. If I try... Yeah, if I try using this in a certain way, like... Oh yeah, as soon as I fire it, I basically just die. Stop streaming of that. Alright, I'm just gonna close up this. This is no longer needed. <clears throat> yep, that's the whole stream, I guess. For now. I'll just I'll end up streaming Friday again, and then Saturday, and then Sunday, if I somehow get up on time. It, last time I slept through the oh, whole fucking Sunday. But yeah.